So now I'm going to show you titration method to prepare um, a soluble salt, which is usually a good one of ammonium salt. Okay, so you will need the burette, okay, the pipette, okay, conical flask, okay, filter funnel, a pipette filler, as well as an indicator. Okay, so now, okay, I'm going to show you how to fill the pipette. Okay, this pipette is 25 5.0 cubic centimeters. So you need a pipette filler to help you. Okay, so after you have pipette twenty five point zero cubic centimeter of an acid, okay, you will transfer it into a conical flask. Okay, then you will add two drops of indicator. Okay, so this is done. Now we'll fill the burette. Okay. So you need a retox then you fill the burette okay, with your alkali or your carbonate. Okay, so the burette is filled with your alkali carbonate. Okay, now you will add your alkali carbonate into your acid, which is in your conical flask. Okay, and you will add until there is a color change. Okay, so you'll continue adding. Okay, until there is a color permanent color change, as you can see, it has turned gray color. Okay, you will stop. Okay, and what you do is you will record okay your volume of alkali or carbonate that has been used. Okay. Ew. Okay. So after you have gotten this solution, okay, there is actually an indicator inside. Okay. So now we need to repeat. Okay, all the way from step one. Okay. But you do not add indicator to your acid in a conical flask okay then what you do is you repeat the titration okay and you will get your sodium chloride solution here okay so this is pure sodium chloride solution okay with that now okay we'll proceed to heat to dryness okay so you have your evaporating dish you'll pour in your sodium chloride solution Just pretend this one is sodium chloride. Okay, so now the sodium chloride solution is being heated to dryness. So we'll wait until all the water has fully evaporated. And what we'll get is your sodium chloride crystals. Okay, so after heating uh, for some time, your sodium chloride solution, you can see that we have heated to dryness. Okay, what you can see that the white crystals are actually your sodium chloride crystals. Okay, so if you continue heating, okay, all the sodium chloride solution okay will become your sodium chloride crystals okay because all the water has evaporated okay so when all the water has evaporated this is your white sodium chloride crystals